So boys, another day at Dan Powers Honda once again. Heard it through the grapevine, sad story, something's happening to Will and Dylan's Talon, and he's gonna switch to something else. So let's go see. So this is what Will and Dylan traded that Talon for. Getting it put together. 450X, 19 model. Anyway, boys, we'll get her to the house and let y'all look at it. So, may have seen Will and Dylan's dirt bike a little bit on our last video or two, but we ain't give you a walk around on it, so that's what we're done. 2019 CRF 450X. Like a 450R, but tail light, headlight, speedometer, kickstand, designed for trail riding. So, Get to it. So we'll start off by saying it's a 450X. It has a modified 450R motor in it to give it more bottom end power and to where it'll lug a lot more because it's a trail bike. And some changes in 2019 is that they're fuel injected. And yes, they did run carburetors in them up until 2018. So in 2019, they added the fuel injection in there. And they added a six-speed gearbox in 2019, which is something previous 450X owners have begged for. And Honda finally added that in 2019. And, you know, Honda recommends running high-octane fuel in there. But if you're wondering how friendly this motor is on gas, Will and Dylan filled it up when he first got it. And he's got over 30 miles on it now, and he hasn't had to refuel it yet. So it's doing pretty Pretty good on gas. The bike has adjustable front shocks with about 12 inches of travel in them and it also has an adjustable rear shock with about 12.4 inches of travel on it. Will and Dylan was saying the shocks were plush and really smooth in the trails because that's kind of what it's designed for but we're starting to put her to the test here and there on some homemade jumps we can make. So I'm not going to be the one riding this thing but I'll say already something not the best about this for anybody is just the weight which any trail bikes like that or any of the bigger dart bikes are like that. It's about 275 pounds. It's pretty heavy. But um, in one of our videos, we had an XR350 riding with us. And it weighs a little over 300 pounds. And we come to the conclusion it's about a 34-year-old version of this bike. So they trimmed some weight on them over the years. But speaking of the weight, like we said, Dylan put an FMF exhaust on it. And we're going to say it dropped about 6 pounds just putting that on there because the stock exhaust is heavy. So we done pretty good on that, losing a little bit of weight. And it has a kickstand, thank goodness. So it's, it's there to hold that weight up for you. The bike's also decently tall with a 37.4 inch seat height. The seat's pretty stiff, I'm not gonna lie. And it also has 12.7 inches of ground clearance on it. Those are just some little measurements. The bike also has four small LEDs in the back for a tail light. Pretty slim, I don't know how it would look if somebody was riding behind you. But it's also got that little headlight in the front too. Um, I'm just gonna say it's not very bright, honestly. We're kind of unimpressed by how bright it was. We honestly think the XR's headlight was brighter than this one, but another complaint regarding the headlights is that there's no switch on the handlebars to turn them on or off, which would be kind of nice if they did have them to conserve battery power, but I guess it could be worse. One of Will and Dylan's first complaints when he got this was the location of the oil stick. It's really hard to get your fingers in there to loosen it up or tighten it back up, so that's just some poor designing by Honda. I ain't talked about the screen much, but it does have a screen on where the handlebars are, and it's got a speedometer, a clock, a trip meter, gas light, and more on there. That's how we knew it had over 30 miles on it. It's actually pretty cool and pretty handy. But Will and Dylan's rode a four-wheeler all his life till he got his first side-by-side. -side. Then he's been in the four-wheeler side-by-side market. But this is his first dirt bike that he's actually going to trail ride, and he's catching the feel of it pretty quick. If you want to see him ride it some, go check out our last two videos. We'll probably have some more thoughts on it in the future. So keep checking the channel out, and I'll catch you on the next one. Hold on, guys. I know y'all going to miss Will and Dylan's talent, but don't worry. Will and Dylan is still keeping the X in Team Wax. And I'm going to give you all a quick update on what happened with Team Wax today. Team Wax Off-Road, having a little get-together, <laughs> eating some food and hanging out and talking. And uh, Steve, Polly, Dan Powers hooked us up with two gift cards, and we give them away by marking the bottom of a plate. We had two winners for $25 off at Dan Powers Honda, so thank you all. Appreciate that. And uh, just hanging out. Have a good time, boys.